These are my tools for making great PS2 tutorials. Let's do this. Hey guys, this is Versatile from Project Phoenix Media. So I just want to do a real quick video here that showcases how to use Codebreaker, OPL, Free Boot, and SMB Share for playing your PS2 games. It's pretty awesome. So go to the video description, download the zip file. It has everything that you need. And let me show you the setup process and how this works. So let's go into Ulaunch Elf. And the file that you download is going to be a zip file, it has a boot folder. And we're going to copy that boot folder into the memory card, assuming you have enough space. So here, I already did that beforehand. So in the boot folder, after you copy it over, you're going to have these two new ELF files, cb underscore launch.elf with the lowercase extension, and then codebreaker10.elf. So let's go ahead and run the codebreaker. And uh, fun fact there, I realized that if you have the lowercase extension for CB launch, that um, after you start, start your game with the cheats, it will automatically boot into OPL. If the file extension happened to be all uppercase, when you start your game, it's going to go back to ulaunch elf, which is not what we want. So Code Breaker is starting, and after it has fully booted, we're going to go into my game here, which is Marvel vs. Capcom 2 as the test bed for today. So I'm going to press R2 just to skip a bunch of games here, and go down, and press R1 on the game in question. So here's the cheats I have selected, and we're going to change it up a little bit since the last time I did this video for USB, and we're going to enable the one hit death kill for um, player two, character one, two, and three. So that's good. Go back to the disc, say X to start the game, and now it's going to automatically load into OPL. As a reminder, I do not have a USB plugged in. If I did, we'll be stuck at this black screen. Uh, before and after so we're we're in good shape here so i'm using a tp-link nano router for hosting my games i have a usb connected to that router but you can definitely use a pc laptop uh, a nas maybe a router with a usb port for sharing games so on and so forth if you're curious about my network settings real quick here i can go and show you that network settings and here's my settings that i have for this particular setup Okay, so let's go ahead and start the game. If you're curious about SMB, network share, game compatibility, highly encourage you to go check it out at ps2-home.com. They got a great user submitted database of games working on SMB. And me personally, I like the SMB method, Samba Share method. It's the quickest, fastest way to enjoy your games. No lagging with in-game movie sequences and things like that. Okay, so we are in the game. So real quick here, I'm gonna go to the secret factor just to show you guys that yes, cheats are working like I expected to, like with my points. And if I go to the shop, everything is sold out because I have everything already. So let's go to arcade mode and uh, showcase the one hit death kill for player two. So I'm gonna select some random characters here. And one more. All right, so let's get ready and do this. So here we go. Let's test it out. And we got one. And we got two. And we got, oh, three. So yes, it's working. Awesome. So that's today's video game tutorial using OPL, Codebreaker, Freemic Boot, SMB, Network Share, and it's a one way out of many ways to have a lot of good times. If you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.